Welcome to Dronecast. Today we're bringing you a special highlight reel featuring three service innovators from across the globe who are using drones to revolutionize firefighting. You'll hear from Jason Burnside of the Austin Fire Department on the front lines of a three-alarm fire, Lee Newman from the London Fire Brigade during the historic Glenfield Tower incident, and Rich Gatanis from Southern Manatee Fire Rescue on the critical mission of keeping his hazmat team safe. Together, their stories will paint a powerful picture on how technology is saving lives. Just this morning, we had a three alarm fire down South Austin and it was an apartment complex. I got on scene and ended up throwing the drone up and we already had aerial master streams going where we've raised the aerial ladders and they're flowing big water into this thing just trying to put it out. And I ended up using the thermal on our aircraft and getting up on the pedestal with the aerial driver. And I was able to show him my screen of where the hot spots were so they could angle and make sure that they were hitting the hot spots with intention instead of just like, yeah, I think this is hot or we're just gonna flow this for 10 minutes and then turn it off and see where smoke pops up again. And he was really into it. So they would fly the drone up, they'd have a look around the tower, they'd land, they'd pinpoint stuff, land the drone, they'd give me the SD card, I'd then run to our command unit and then I'd brief on urban search rescue crews. I'd say, right, on the 14th floor, we've got a window in the precarious position. Can you take it up or take it out? And then looking through the footage, I say, like, we've got another, some concrete that might fall. Can you deal with that? And that's how using a drone to get up there to look from the outside, because it was very dangerous on the inside as well. And obviously you couldn't get on the outside. By pushing a piece of equipment in there, one, it's safety for your technicians, right? We're not pushing somebody in there to an unknown. Two, we're limiting the number of missions we actually have to push guys into there. And I always say it like this, like we're in Florida in August, you put a guy in a level A for a period of time, he's going to be spent by the time he's done. So if we can cut the number of missions down in half by how many people we got to push in, that's firefighter safety 101 right there, right? It's cutting down time inside the incident, inside those level A's. 